Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm back. So I have the Super Rad on the stand behind me and what I've decided to do was a preservation of the bike. Um, my original dreams was to do a full restoration. Restoration's like beautiful. But um, this is original um, bike and um, if I restore it, you can't bring it back to, pre to preserve it. Um, if I preserve it first, it could always be restored down the line. So with the condition of the bike, I think I'm going to do a preservation, which will just mean a lot of elbow grease and a lot of cleaning. Uh, we'll go through and we'll check the motor um, and make sure it runs, make sure the seals are good, but we're not going to blast the cylinders or blast the cases and clean them all up. We wanted to leave it looking original. So if we have to go into the engine, we'll, we'll replace what we need, but we're going to leave the, uh, the looks how it is. Um, I'll strip it down, we'll polish up the frame, we'll polish up the wheels, you know, just with whatever we could get off the shelf. Not going to repaint it, just clean it up, get it running. Um, you know, we'll probably need to put new tires on it, but if we could save the cable, save whatever we can on the bike. So um, I'm going to get the bike in the truck, I'm going to take it to my buddies, Greg's at California Hodaka, and we're going to go through the motor, so stay tuned. All right, so I want to show you where the VIN number is on the bike so we could properly ID the bike and make sure it really is what it is. Right here on the head stay, there's the VIN number plate. I'll give you a closer look at it. Right there. And then also above this left shock, is also a matching frame number that matches the number on the VIN plate. If you look up in the uh, Hodaka book or on the Strictly Hodaka website, there's a chart that you can match the VIN number and tell you exactly what bike you have. And this is a 1970 Super Rat. Here, and um, I want to kind of give an overview of the bike, some of the good points and some of the bad points of what we need to address. Uh, starting up here, one of the great things about this find are the fenders and the gas tank. These are very rare to find in this condition. They're obviously stainless steel. A good crash will just wrinkle them up. Um, fork seals we obviously need to address. Uh, the engine looks like it has been worked on before. Um, so uh, we'll take a look at that. Our goal today is gonna get this running. Um, it has the wrong foot pegs on it. These look like from a wombat. It's uh, missing the chain guard. Has an aftermarket sprocket, which is fine. Uh, missing the uh, kickstand. This tank is beautiful. This is one of the most sought after tanks uh, in the Hodaka world. And no dents, inside is perfectly clean. Uh, grips are newer style grips. These don't match the, uh, the vintage. Um, and so uh, that's, the shocks are in really great condition. So we're gonna do a preservation of this bike. Again, um, keep the patina, just clean it all up, get it running, put the proper period uh, items on it, foot pegs, grips. Um, this air cleaner, which is really iconic with this bike, is not the right air cleaner. The uh, correct air cleaner would be this one. Hopefully you could see it there. This is, a, we call this an any, or some people call it the pie plate. This is the correct air cleaner. So at some point, this bike had the uh, air cleaner swapped, which is still fine. This is a great air cleaner. Um, it's just from the later model. And uh, we'll decide if, uh, if I could find an original one that has the patina, maybe we'll swap it out. If not, we'll just go with this. Okay, so next we're gonna start uh, getting into the engine and work on getting this thing fired off today. <laughs> 